This laptop is different from the rest. It's made by a company you may not have heard of and it's designed to be upgradable and repairable. That's not often something you hear and when you do there always seems to be a catch or trade-off. But we'll have to see how the Framework laptop holds up. Framework sent over a review sample and some parts to upgrade it with, including an upgrade to a Core i7. Now while Framework sent me this device for loan to make this video, I received no money and they had no input into making this video. They also included a note just to tell me what will happen to this laptop when I'm done with it. It's off to more reviewers until it's eventually sold on the refurbished store. So who knows, maybe someone watching this video will end up with this very laptop. It's certainly the only laptop I know of to come with a screwdriver and spudger tool in the box. For some reason, I thought this was just another plastic laptop painted silver, but after getting it out of the box, I realized it's not. It's aluminium. And with its glass trackpad, it has a very 2012 MacBook Pro vibe going on, and I like that. Even some of the function keys look the same. But you might notice four large empty holes on the side where the ports would normally be. Unlike any other laptop, you're not stuck with the ports the manufacturer wants you to have. You can equip it with any number of expansion cards, or even make your own, giving you the ability to have the ports you want at any given time. From USB, HDMI, DisplayPort, Ethernet, and additional storage, to simply moving your charge port to the other side of the laptop. And because these just interface with a USB-C port inside the slot, it's non-proprietary, giving the ability for third parties to also make adapters. Once I have the laptop set up, I did notice some bloatware was installed. I'm not sure whether that's been installed by Framework or just a Windows 11 thing. But regardless, in system, we can see we have the current base model for sale on Framework's website, which houses the 12th gen Intel Core i5 and eight gigs of RAM. Of course, we're soon going to be upgrading that to a 13th gen Intel Core i7, along with a few other upgrades Framework sent across. To access the internals, I'll need to remove five Torx screws. For this, I'll use the included tool. These screws are captive, so while they'll unfasten, they don't fall out of the base. Flipping the laptop over, we can lift up the keyboard, which also has some nifty magnets holding it in place. There's one cable beneath we need to disconnect before fully removing the palm rest. Inside, we start to see some more upgradability with easy access to the SSD, RAM, Wi-Fi card, and battery. Most of which is either impossible or hard to replace on most other new laptops. Even the trackpad and keyboard are replaceable, no rivets to be seen here. What I did notice is someone else has already taken this one apart. One of the flex cables has been put in on an angle and it's missing a screw. I wonder if anyone can figure out from that who had it before me. But not to worry, as there's three spare screws included at the top, one for each major size used throughout. There's also QR codes on most components to allow you to easily pull up repair guides for replacing a specific part. That is, of course, if your phone is on a BlackBerry, because it'll just want to add it to your contacts. At this stage in our teardown, I think it's time to install the new matte screen which has just come out for this specific model of framework laptop, allowing you to switch from a glossy, highly reflective display to one a little less reflective. I'll also be upgrading the hinges from the 3.3 kilo hinge to the 4 kilo hinge, which will increase the force required to open the display, keeping it a little more secure. Both of these parts are relatively new to the framework laptop and can be installed in previous models. So if you've already got one of these devices and want to change out your display for a matte version or want a firmer hinge, you can now do so. The display bezel pulls away with no screws or adhesive. It is purely held in place with magnets. Once removed, I can unfasten four Torx screws before lifting up the display. Before installing the new display, I'll also upgrade the hinges to the firmer version. I must say, while I appreciate the inclusion of a tool, it is harder to use with the spudger on one end. But if it's all you have, it's certainly good enough to replace any part of this laptop. With one side complete, it's time for the other.
With that, it's time for the matte screen. Four screws are all that hold it in place. Routing its cable correctly is important to avoid the hinge mechanism from damaging it. I followed photos from one of Frameworks guides to be sure it was right. Once the protective film is removed, the bezel can be reinstalled. This laptop also features a battery held in with screws and not glue. While it's not as quick to swap as an old laptop from the 2000s, it's the next best thing. This being the base model, it features a 55 watt hour battery, which can be upgraded to a 61 watt hour battery version, yet another upgrade avenue for this computer. Speaking of upgrades, it's time for things to get a bit louder with the 80 decibel speaker kit, which I'm going to get installed now. Framework says the original speakers have more accurate audio fidelity, while these 80 decibel versions offer louder sound. The swap over is quite simple, with the speakers just pulling free and only requiring some cable management to keep things neat. Once they're in, I can get the battery back in place. But we're not done just yet. We still have the biggest upgrade to go. Framework sent over their Core i7 motherboard, a drop-in replacement for any Framework 13 laptop. Now while this computer lacks a socketed CPU, that's not Frameworks fault, as to my knowledge, socketed laptop CPUs are no longer made. And while it would be awesome to see, it would add unnecessary thickness, so I understand. The solution offered is a whole motherboard replacement. It looks almost identical to that of the board currently in the laptop. Framework has also just started taking pre-orders for an AMD version, meaning you could swap your laptop from Intel to AMD. To complete the upgrade, I'll need to remove all the expansion cards, RAM, SSD and Wi-Fi card. These all need to be transferred to the new motherboard. Additionally, there's a few cables and screws that will also need to be taken out. Compared to other laptops I've worked on, the amount of screws and cables securing the board in place is very little, meaning it's quite easy to remove. Lifting the board up and out of our framework laptop, we can compare it against our replacement. Besides the spec sticker on top and the added cover on the RAM, the upgraded board shares an almost identical design. To be able to make motherboards for the 11th, 12th and 13th gen Intel CPUs, as well as now AMD, then to make it all fit inside the same computer, really shows their commitment to providing a plethora of upgrade and configuration options. After all, that would take some real engineering. I got the motherboard screwed down using one of the spare screws to replace one that was missing. Once the Wi-Fi card is attached, it's time for the audio board interconnect cable before the SSD and RAM. Of course, the upgrades we've completed on this Framework laptop were to demonstrate some of Framework's new additions. But any of these can be installed independently. What you upgrade is totally up to you, and that's what I really like about this laptop. It's even been designed to allow you to work on it with the battery still plugged in. Although it's still good practice to disconnect it, it is yet again another foolproof, perfectly thought out feature. Once I have the keyboard attached, I can close the lid, flip over the laptop and fasten the remaining screws. Next, I can attach all the ports back into place. With that, we've just upgraded the display, hinge, speakers and motherboard to an Intel Core i7. After upgrading the motherboard, it'll take a bit longer to boot up and you'll need to download the drivers for the motherboard you installed to get everything working correctly. And with that, we're done. So this is it. The framework laptop with upgradable ram ssd battery speakers display and motherboard with modular ports spare screws captive screws and the tool you need to fix it included in the box and custom parts to make it look just the way you want is there anything they didn't think of i just can't fault it they even partnered with cooler master to create a case for your old motherboard so if you upgrade you can use your old motherboard to create another computer 
This new laptop brand put its efforts in creating a laptop enthusiasts and techies want. And with their first device, they've really outdone other brands that have been in the industry for decades. It's amazing what can be achieved when you put customers first. I only hope they keep to that. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the Teardown and Repair Assessment playlist for more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.